Alright guys, what is up? It is your boy, the Lone Wolf, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about a life story for you guys. But before I talk about the story, let's talk about this gameplay. Dude, if you guys go on Black Ops 2 and use the vector, oh my goodness. Dude, right now, as you guys are watching, I'm, I'm doing a fucking challenge right here. I'm doing the hip fire only challenge. Dude, oh my god. The vector is the only gun that you can absolutely de destroy people, man. I swear to god, I was destroying these kids anuses man it was terrific anyway <laughs> i urge you guys to go try this uh, challenge i used uh laser sight suppressor and extended mags uh that's i mean it's a, it's, it's a fantastic loadout try it out you won't regret it anyway let's get right into the uh story <laughs> so as i was saying uh i don't think i don't, I don't know what, what i was saying anyway so this uh this prank was called well i don't prank whatever this prank was called the watchdogs prank and basically what I did was I was uh, you know trying to mimic the character of from uh, watchdogs as you guys know if you guys have ever played that game or seen a trailer of it uh, the guy has like this fucking scarf or bandana whatever you want to call it and he has his hat this fucking baseball cap or whatever and he tries to be like all fucking stealthy and like like slick and this and <laughs> Me and my friend were trying to do that. So basically, me and my friend, we had a uh, buff, I believe that's what you call it. I'll put a screen. I'll put a picture on the screen if you guys don't know what that is. It's like a, it's like a scarf, a bandana, a headband. It like, I don't know. It's, it's like a weird piece of cloth that can, you know, fucking make itself into a buff, or you know, make itself, make itself into like a scarf and cover your face. So me and my friend, we both had one of those, and uh, we put them on our face. And we were, you know, of course we we're fucking kids over here, so we're going to the fucking uh, the school park or whatever. And uh, there were like, I don't, know, I don't. Know. We had like, uh, we had screwdrivers in our hands for some reason. Well, I did it, but my friend did, my cousin he did. So uh, yeah, we were like, you know, trying to, I don't know, what, I don't know what we were trying to do, but we were trying to be fucking stealthy and shit, and. These kids saw us, and like they saw the uh, screwdriver, and they thought it was a knife, and they all fucking ran. So it was like it was it was fucking hilarious, man. And next thing you know, oh my god, the next thing you know, oh oh yeah yeah, oh yeah. So uh, as the kids were running, one of them was so scared that they forgot their bike, and that's when I decided to be a smart ass and go on and uh, go on this kid's bike, right? And I was just fucking riding it, you know, chilling out. And, you know, I mean, I didn't fucking steal the bike, of course. I would just, uh, I was just riding it, you know, just for, just for fuck's sake, you know how it is. And, uh, I was riding it, and I, uh, I, uh, you know, just stopped because, uh, the kid wanted his bike. So, I was like, oh, okay, all right, here you go. And, uh, gave, and I gave him his fucking bike, right? But, next thing you know, fucking kids are calling us out and shit. And then they called their parents. Then the parents called the fucking cops, and so me and my me and my fucking cousin, man, we're fucking fucking it, man. We're we're getting the fuck out. We're getting GTFO, man. We're getting the fuck out of that place. We're running, running, uh, like some fucking to some other direction or something. I don't know, trying to trying to get away from the cops and whatnot, dude. Oh my god, it was scary as shit. So basically, after we like after running, we noticed this fucking guy, right? And, you know, this guy was ch fucking chasing us. And, dude, this was a fucking angry-ass parent, man. This parent was fucking running after us. We were, I, Dude, I swear, we went, like, I'd say about half a mile. And this guy was still fucking chasing us, son. It was, it was fucking scary as shit, son. Then he caught up to us. And he was asking us a bunch of questions. And I said, oh, shit. I said, oh, you know what? Don't even talk to him, man. Don't even, don't even say anything. So... We don't talk to this guy. This guy's asking us a bunch of fucking questions and whatnot. Trying to get our info for the popo for the 12, 5 -oh, You already know what it is. And, uh, <laughs> so we keep on walking. This guy fucking beats it. And he, you know, he's out of there and whatnot. So me and my friend, we, we shit, oh, like, we said, holy shit, dude, this is not good. Besides, because, like, everybody, everybody fucking knows my name and shit. Everybody, like, ah. Uh, uh, uh. It wasn't a good, like, it wasn't a good place to be, and, uh, yeah, because, like, everybody knows my name, because, at the time, we were in, uh, Iceland, and we were, in, like, it, like, yeah, it's like a fucking small-ass town and whatnot, so, pretty much, everybody knows each other and whatnot, so, it was pretty hard to do something fucking, you know, 
fucking sly and shit like that. So, uh, <laughs> next thing you know, we're trying to go, uh, try to take some fucking detour, try to get out the, uh, try to get out the fucking uh, area where the cops would be looking. You know, I mean, you guys already know what it is, man. It's like it's like trying to hide from the cops in GTA Five. You know, you just have to, you just have to keep on walking, keep on going. Or, yeah, or like going in uh, GTA 4, trying to get out the fucking circle. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. Trying to get out the fucking little wanted circle or whatever. We were, pretty, we were basically trying to do that. And uh, we pretty much did it. And then we went to our uh, safe house, which, a.k.a. Grandma and Grandpa's house. We did that. Um, and, uh, you know, about two hours later, they get a fucking phone call and whatnot. Saying that we've been fucking vandalizing and, you know being assholes and shit so it was crazy uh never got i mean yeah i never got locked up or anything uh no police officers were ever you know there they all yeah so so nobody ever saw me and shit but yeah i didn't really get into trouble but uh yeah dude it was it was crazy man it was it was it was absolutely fucking bonkers uh but yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed the story uh, I don't have many of these stories, but you know, if I do remember them, I will let you guys know in the comment section below, or just make a new video. I don't know. Anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful or entertaining, uh, make sure to like the video and uh, don't die. Stay in school. Don't do drugs and uh, smoke weed every day, kids. I'm out. <laughs> have a great day.